In this week's programme, you'll see Derek sending and receiving information from learners in Pier Street and Cashel using his mobile phone. Mobile phones are everywhere these days, but they're not just used for talking to people. You can also use them to send messages to your friends. This use is called text messaging. When you're sending a text message, there's a limited amount of space for the message because the screen on the front of a mobile phone is quite small, obviously. So, for this reason, lots of words in text have been abbreviated or shortened. There's a whole population of mobile phone users who have become very familiar with these shortened words. Let's look at some examples. The letters see you are used instead of the words see you. Tonight is used for tonight and MK means make. When you're writing a text message, lots of words are shortened by using the first and last letters of a word, or only some of the letters in a word. For example, don't is often written as dnt, could is often written as cd, and will as wl. Some words in text messaging use a mixture of words and numbers. These are based on both the sounds of the numbers and the letters. For example, later is written as l8r, late as l8, and before is written as B4. Some letters are used on their own because the name of that letter sounds like a word. Examples are C for C, B for B, R for R, T for T, and U for U. Just as spoken language changes to incorporate new ideas and vocabulary, so text messaging has changed the way many people write. Just be careful, however, when you're deciding when the language of text messaging should be used. Let's see how our Peer Street team are getting on.